This is a pretty expansive plantation. Hey YouTube, this is Think Museums and today we are here at the George Washington Museum in Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon is where George Washington was buried and a lot of his stuff that came from his house have been put together by the curators in this museum. So we're going to be checking out this museum to learn more about the kind of personality that George Washington was based on the kind of objects that came out of his house. In case you didn't know who George Washington is, George Washington was the first president of the United States. He's also referred to as the father of the United States. He was a general that fought against the British and kicked them out of the United States. This is pretty cool. And I'm here at the George Washington Museum and that's how it looks like. So guys, if you're visiting uh, George Washington Museum here in Mount Vernon, it's a few miles away from Washington DC and this area is Virginia. So if you come here, you're going to check out this museum. And the first thing that you do is visit the mansion. I'm going to leave the link up there so you guys can check out the mansion where this collection came from. Pretty awesome. So a lot of the artifacts that you see here came from the estate of George Washington. So some of them look like that. All this came from his house back then. That's George Washington there. And that is his wife. So a lot of this. This is how it looks like. This is the construct of the plantation. So we're here at the George Washington Museum. It has a bunch of um, relics and objects from from the from the museum itself. So I'm just looking at it. Wow, that's a 1930 lipstick tube. Look at that. No. These are some of the artifacts that you find yeah. only here yeah. on Think yeah. Museums. Yeah. That's a showcase to you. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. So, okay. yeah. It's huge. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to see. Yeah. George Washington passed away here in his mansion here in Mount Vernon. You guys can check out the tour of the mansion. Yeah. Uh, we went to the bedroom where George Washington died in and Apparently, he passed away from sore throat. So this is where he passed? Yes, yeah, so General Washington died there on December 14, 
you know one thing that I'm seeing here at the museum is that he was a real dresser. He was dapper. He dressed fashionably. And he learned the value of sharp attire while studying the Virginian nobility. Eventually noting that nothing adds more to the appearance of a man than dress. This produced his devotion to a suitable wardrobe. After establishing himself as a surveyor and a landowner, ordering garments from a London tailor to accommodate his height and long limbs. What was the personality of Washington? He believed that external appearance should reflect in a marriage. He possessed a tall, commanding physical presence that warranted development of grace and public humility. For example, although Washington was actually six feet three and a half inches tall, he often told people he was only six feet tall. George Washington was known for his patience, drive, attention to detail, a strong sense of responsibility, and a very firm moral conscience. All of these characteristics drew people to him and contributed to their trust in him. It said that he was honest and was selfless. While George Washington was not regarded in the same vein as Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton and other scholars of that era, Washington was no slouch in matters of intellect. From his early setbacks as a young officer, he studied military books to improve his understanding of battlefield strategies, gaining insight that shaped his directions during the crucial moments of the American Revolution. Sometimes we ask a lot of questions like how was George Washington's personal and physical characteristics helped him win the presidency? For a lot of people doing political sciences and all that, we can tell from the collection here that his physical strength and courage made him a battlefield hero. But also the founding father impressed with his moral conviction and political instincts. They say that George Washington was very easy to talk to and he had a mastery of social interaction and this naturally translated to the political arena. For all his authority, he came across as agreeable in conversation and sought to find areas of common ground. If you want to learn about the United States, then head here to George Washington Museum here at Mount Vernon. You learn more about the United States from its founding father. This museum is the best place to come to to learn more about this. It's a good museum, it has a good history, and you're going to learn more about the United States through the eyes of George Washington. Well, that was a tour of the George Washington Museum here in Mount Vernon.